Shalom, 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 first and foremost, giving infinite praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Ba Shemel Shabbat Shem Chakwadash, giving double honors to our apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, shalom, salutation to you, Sensei Akim, so close to four winds, pushing this truth with sincerity of heart. I'm your fellow servant, Kasama God from a DC camp, coming at you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba Shemel Shabbat Shem Chakwadash to feed the elect. Uh, this is going to be a quick lesson, Lord willing. Exhortation, uh, just a few words, um, you know, going into the end of the weekend, man, um, you know, just did a lot of meditation. You know, we're always meditating, you know, but, you know, there's certain things that certain seasons where the meditation may be um, on a on a higher plane than others. Right. So um, just meditating on, of course, um, you know, what we go through uh is is men of the Lord, hopeful elect, um, in, in this in this uh, in his in his walk, um, in his truth. And um, you know, just just uh, the the different trials and tribulation that we go through. Um and brothers know it. Um, you know it as individuals and, and even 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 uh even the few sincere um even a few sincere um, sisters, you know, um, um, Israelite women, you know, that 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 truly try, man, they really t truly try, you know. Um, but this is mostly for 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 the ones in the, in the battlefield, man, the ones of us that are in the front lines. Um, you know, it's just it's just certain things that you go through, um, and uh, you look around, and you know, I w I was just thinking about like um, just different things around you from um um situation jobs like from people to objects you know everything um you know how Solomon spoke about how everything is is um vanity and vexation vexation of spirit and um and you know you look about you look up that word vanity it goes into emptiness and but then again I've also understood that these vanities although they're vain and in, in they these things are these people, right? Because it's not just things; it's things and people, family members, um, actual objects that you, you know, things that you may have, whether it be a car, a house, uh, whatever you have, um, anything that's that brings no further understanding. What well, that that doesn't add to to the gospel. It really, it really is vain. But it's amazing because even in that vanity the existence of that thing of those people they actually have a, a place and and that place in your particular life and your particular journey you you understand that it's all a test um you know you have to you have to be circumspect to understand that if you are in this gospel and you are in the path of truth and you believe in your in your whole body shop and the lord is dealing with you you have to look around and understand that everything and everybody around you, you know, it's it's all it's 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 all interconnected and it's all a test, whether it be for good or bad. It's all a test. It's all a trial. Now, when you go into the word trial in the regular dictionary, uh, you you go all the way down to a uh, verb. It says test something, especially a new product, to assess its suit suitability or performance, and um. You know, when you go to um, First Peter, and you go into scriptures, First Peter, chapter four, uh, verse twelve. The subtitle says, "Share the sufferings of a Mashiach," and and you have to understand what those sufferings are about. Yes, it's it's a uh, it's a sentence, you know, for um, the misdeeds that we committed, uh, the laws, statutes, and commandments, breaking the laws, and the things we did in our past lives, and so on and so forth. Um, and, and yet, you know, though we covered in the blood of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai has covered us and the Lord willing we're part of the elect um, for salvation and remission of our sins. But we still got to we still got to endure some uh, some hard times, um, some tests and trials. And, you know, that's that's what part of suffering is about. Um, it says um, first Peter 4 and 12 it says beloved think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you and we know about the, these scriptures you know um, it's just there's levels and, and, uh, and it's all about the seasons and what you're facing right the way you understand um, first Peter 4 and 12 
in uh, uh, one season. When you come back in another season and you're dealing with matters that are heavier and uh, and, and, and weightier matters in the spirit and the wisdom and knowledge of understanding, you come back to the same precept and, and you get like a totally different uh, enlightenment of um of the of the um of the actual precepts and, and that's part of the growth and, and but you get that through actual harder and harsher um sufferings um you know and that's just the reality of it um th that's why the, the, the book is full of woe and lamentation because the house of mourning and the house of suffering is where all the answers are hidden you know and it's a tough thing for the flesh to, to accept it you know when when we go through what we're going through you know, you go through what you go through and whether it be things or people, right? Because that's what it's about, right? You know, it's it's about things or people. And, and, and all these individuals, whether it be for good or bad, they all a test. But, but who's being tested? You're the one who's being tested. You would say, well, damn, well, why me? Because Yahweh Hashem Shah has called you. He's given you his gospel and he set it up through destiny and he sets certain people around you and he allows certain people around you so he allows certain people to be born he allowed you to be born around certain families to be exposed to certain people he allows certain things to come your way right but it was never really for your enjoyment <laughs> you know what i'm saying because we're not living in that season this is the season of repentance this is the season of mourning so you can't possibly think that and again, whether for good or bad, and you may have slight moments of enjoyment, slight, but none of these things are here to bring you happiness, whether it be your wife and, and your kids and all that. Yeah, you can have moments, but you're going to see you're going to have more trials. There's going to be more um, test that's going to come out of these individuals that are actually in their mind in your life to quote unquote they think they their life to make your life better but it, it's all a test that's why you have a shower we spoke about the attachment to this world you know what i'm saying it's all everything is a test and you're the one who's being tested okay why is that now when you go to the word try on it online i really like this uh 1300 it says examine judiciously now this is the most important part discover by evaluation test because what's going on the people that the people that were surrounded by whether it be family members the things that we have acquired you know like you know necessities like house car um a little bit of money what we you know whatever it is these these things have been allowed the most high has allowed these things he's allowed you to acquire these things he set situations where you would be have having to deal with these these people right even when if you have a child a child is yeah it's supposed to be a beautiful thing and 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 the overall the things is a beautiful thing but in this season a child a wife and all these in, in, in entities why are they here if you are the individual in the gospel you have to understand that you're kind of like a gravitational pull that's what it means to be a hopeful elect you're not just an average uh, Israelite average soul So you are a gravitational pull And there's certain things in people Whether it be good or bad Whether it be for good or evil That will circle around you To try you But but, but why? It's not that they, you know They just did because that's what they gotta do That's their, that's their, that's their lot But the reason why is so that you can discover By he evaluation yourself because that's what it's about you know what i'm saying because the lord i always said this yahweh already knows who we are because he made us the only people that don't know who they are is us even though we you know and we always in a process of finding out who we are right we always in that process and that process comes through what trials and tests and evaluation so you can discover who you are and there's multiple layers to, 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 to who you are. You're not just one thing. You're a combination of multiple uh, things, multiple attributes. But unless you're faced with oppositions, 
whether it be for good and evil, because a person that that's supposed to be there for your own good. Example, your your woman, right? That's going to be your woman. And Lord willing, hey, Lord willing, she's going she gonna to be delivered right along with you. But then again, she may not. But that's the woman that you're dealing with. And the, the, her existence and the things that she does, you know, her reaction to certain things, everything that's going to come with that is going to bring about a test for self-discovery. You know, they, these individuals and these things make you find out who you are. So you can really, truly have true ultimate faith and be truly perfect, you know, so you will have, you know, that confidence that we all going to have, Lord willing, when all hell breaks loose, right? We're not going to be panicking. We're going to have stability of mind. So that's why these things are allowed to come into our lives as a test to make things difficult because we find ourselves in difficulties. And the same goes for, for the few, again, the few sisters that, the few Israelite women, you know what I'm saying, that, 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 that truly try to, you know, to follow Yahweh by Hashem El Shai. There's individuals, you know, you may have a husband who, who's not a believer, right? But you're not going to get rid of him because you do have a love for your husband, you know. But that individual, right, is going, it's a test, you know. That individual is a test, whether, like I said, whether it be for good or evil. Everything and everybody around you, it's a test, you know? And 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 once you understand that, you understand that, hey man, this is only just a journey. Okay? This is not the real deal. This is was never meant to be the real deal. Okay. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna make it too long. Uh I, I just trying to make that point. You know, I was meditating on on, on, on a lot. Uh this is um Psalm 16 and, uh, oh man, Psalm 16, oh no, this thing is tripping now, alright, Psalm 16 and 5, it says, The Lord, Yehovah Hashem Yashah, is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my lot, and that's the thing, the Lord is the portion of our inheritance and of, and of our cup, you know, and your cup is what? Your cup is, is that's your destiny, it's, it's these things that you got to deal with. You know, you know, that that hell, you know, it's that hell that you got to deal with it's being in the house of mourning, you know, but yet it's a good it's a good thing because it's the same thing that allows you to discover yourself to truly know, you know, what I'm saying who you are, who your how about Shemel Shah is. It's through tough times that we get closer and closer to your how about Shemel Shah. Which brings us closer and closer to knowing exactly who we are and, uh, and you know, and what we meant to, you know, what our existence is, you know, is really about. Um, First Peter 4.13, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. And that's what it is, man. Listen, you can't find peace because we all want peace, you know, and, and we understand we're at war. You know, but that's the thing. It's it's the same concept. There is no peace without war, you know. And war comes in different stages, different levels. There's, there's different uh, types of warfare. The spiritual warfare is to find out about your spirit. The mental warfare is to find out about your mind. And then the physical warfare is to find find out about your strength. But the main, the priority is the spiritual and mental warfare, and that's what we're going through right now. It's all in stages. The Most High is not a, a, a power of disorder. He's not gonna give us might, physical might, but then we'll, but we're completely lost spiritually and mentally. That would make no sense. The perfect warrior is a warrior that's built in and that's built up spiritually, mentally, and then the physical just you know falls into place. That's the easy part. You know, getting it bashing somebody's head in and 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 going out here and taking. People say the most high overthrowing kingdoms is easy. That's that's happened throughout history. Overthrowing kingdoms. You read the books and the history, it tells you that. But how many kings were able to keep their kingdoms? No, none of them were. Why? Because ultimately they failed. They failed spiritually and they failed mentally. That's why they wasn't able to keep their kingdoms. But this kingdom, the kingdom of Yahweh Shah, the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem El Shah will be established forever. Because the king of kings. Is right on all levels, and all the the, the the kings 
that are you know that are gonna serve and that and that are gonna lead. We you know which low one I'm a part of it. We're part of it. We also gonna be in the same space. Okay, so we won't lose our kingdom, man. We lost our kingdom in the past because we didn't truly know who we knew who we were. Even though we knew our nationality, we knew the name of the Lord, but we didn't truly grasp what it meant to be Israelites, what it meant to be the true sons of the power. We didn't grasp that because the inheritance was given to us hastily. It was given to us without us having to quote unquote earn it. But now we really earn in this crown and 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 now we see a totally different uh, we get a totally different understanding of of what the, you know what it's all everything is all about and 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 it's through the vanity these people around us um these things around us you know that bring chaos in our lives and it's here to to, to test you to see how you're going to react to it you know um what else this is job chapter 15 and 31 it says let not him that is deceived trust in vanity for vanity shall be his Recompense. So yeah, you don't want to trust in vanity. You know these things. You don't. You don't put too much emphasis on the things that you have acquired. These are things that have been sent into your life to try you. <laughs> you know, so how can you? How can you have great attachment to things that have been sent to to try you? You know, because if something has been sent to try you, it, it chances are it won't be there. Now, when it comes, especially when it comes to people. Because all these things here, it's all going to pass away. It's all going to pass away. You know, and I was talking to one of the young brothers. And some of the brothers know we've talked about it. I was like, I've said this before. Like, hey, listen, if you if you, if you you fall out the truth because, you know, you went out there, you got you a, a, a Lamborghini, which, by the way, I always say, if you, if you got enough money to get a Lambo, you know, hey, as long as you make sure that the, the church is taken care of, man, I don't give a damn what you drive. Because, you know, I'm not I don't give a damn about 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 things and especially the things of this world. But I'm like, if you were to drive a, a car, whatever, nice, whatever, or get a big ass house, whatever it is. If a thing, if an object is the reason why if a car and a house or whatever is the reason why you fall out the truth, then good on you, man. Because that means you never you never, you know, you, you, you never uh, understood, you know, what this truth was about. That means you compared whatever it is that that was in your life, whatever vanity you had in your life, you compared that to Yahweh by Shemel Shah, and in your heart of hearts, those things weighed heavier than Yahweh by Shemel Shah. So I, I feel I would feel I would not feel bad for you, you know what I'm saying? I would I would have no respect for you, you know what I'm saying? And that's just that's just what it is, you know. And it comes with people as well, you know what I'm saying? Not to say you you ain't you supposed to be. You know, you're supposed to have ice water running down your veins. It's just, you know, you always got to be in a mindset where you're ready to cut every and anybody off that stands in the way of you and your whole body. You know what I'm saying? That has to, that has to be a part of, of your mindset, you know, in this gospel. Uh, so now let me go to uh, Psalms 119 verse 37. It says, turn away mine eyes from beholding vanity and quicken thou me in thy way. And that's what we always pray for, you know. All of us, we always pray for, and then that's the way I look at it. I always look at different everything, everything, everything that's 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 that I'm allowed to have, uh, as far as uh, things. I always look at that as that's just a new trial. Anybody that comes into my life, everybody that's around me, it's it's a trial, you know. And like I said, it's not always for bad. It could be for good, you know. If if uh, if a, a good brother is sent, you know. Towards you, that's also a trial, you know, to see how you're going to react to goodness. Because not everybody reacts well to goodness. You know, the wicked, the scripture says the wicked is an abomination to the righteous. That's why when you see good brothers and then you'll see a wicked nigga that's in the midst, he doesn't, that's a trial to see his heart and he doesn't respond well to that. That's also a trial. So you're going to discover who you are because of your surroundings, you know. Um, and that's, that's basically... The main thing I want to put out there, you know, I don't, I didn't really want this to be too long. So, um, Sirach chapter two, verse one, it says, uh, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. And the Lord said this from the very beginning. He said this from the very beginning. If you come to serve me, understand everything that's going to come your way is going to be for trial. It's going to be for what? Self-evaluation, man. That's what it's going to be. You're not here 
to live a life of your own and, and build families and be successful. None of that. This existence is solely for repentance and trial, for self-evaluation, test. That's all it is. It's just test after test after test. We don't get to live until Yahweh shall come back. And, and, and that's something I always got to remind myself when I get into these cycles of depression. You know, always remembering that, hey, man, like, this is what this is what it's about. You know what I'm saying? This is what it's about. It's about their patience and suffering. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, uh, this is Second Ezra chapter 7. Uh, you know, when Ezra goes into the city that's, that's, that's built. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Um, actually, I'm just going to start at 5. Second Ezra chapter 7, verse 5. Uh, no, verse 6. There's also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water. And that's your surroundings. That's what you're surrounded with. You're surrounded by fire and water. And I'm talking about things and people. And everything around you is all about trials and tests for what? For self-evaluations, for discovery. It's all about discovery. Okay? Self-discovery, man. Alright? Um, what else? What else? It says, verse 7, the entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left, deep water. And only one path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go go there at once. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, which that's what happened at first, we were given, we were, we were told that, hey, the city is yours. But we didn't have to, you know what I'm saying, we didn't have to really try to pass through the the danger and the, and the, and the hard call trials and tribulation. It says, how shall he receive this inheritance? Right? Meaning, how are you going to really receive this inheritance? You know, you got to earn it, man. You got to earn it. And how do you earn it? Through sufferings, man. Through pain and sorrow and sufferings and ups and downs. Mostly downs. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's the, that's the the that's what uh, this season requires. Um, I'm going to finish with this. Uh, verse 10. And I said, it is so, Lord. I am. And I said, it is so, Lord, then said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion. So this is our portion, man. And, um, you know, and as men, Israelite men in this gospel, man, you know, we 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 would. Yeah, yeah our shouts constantly, constantly uh, uh, giving us the, uh, the Holy Spirit for comfort. So, you know, and it's good to meditate, man. Um, You know, meditate. And then whether you like it or not, you're going to end up meditating if you're really serious. Because there's always new oppositions, there's always new trials and new tests that comes your way that forces you to just shut it down and kind of be still for a minute and just start to uh, really ponder um, on 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 the path. So with that, uh, I'm gonna say Kyle Halam Lai Yahweh Bashim El Shad Double Honest our apostles and elders a great millstone shot of warm salutation to you Sensei Akim so cause the four winds, pushing this truth for the city of heart. I hope and pray you were edify, exhort it, you know what I'm saying, keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? I I know it's tough, but um, hey man, listen. Ask for the Lord to make you tougher, uh, so you can keep moving forward, man. Um, y'all bash my shabaka down, bash my hakudash shalom.